Valentine's Day will be here before you know it. Your kids may be having maybe a party at school or you wanna do something cute for your honey. This is the perfect idea. A certified celebrator, yes, that is a thing, <laughs> is here to show us a special spin on the popular cake pops that is actually much easier. Welcome, Brittany Thank Young. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I love holidays. I love yeah. to celebrate like every single holiday, especially now that I have a three-year-old. And so I'm always looking for fun reasons to make sweet treats and to decorate. And so I decided to do a spin on cake pops yes. because those are messy. They're pretty and yes. they're tasty, but they're kind of time consuming. Yes. So today we're using one of our family favorites and that's marshmallows. Have you Perfect. Looked, have you looked at marshmallows at the grocery store lately? No. It's like a whole aisle, okay? <laughs> Flavors and colors and sizes. And so I've just picked up, this is a strawberry flavor and then the regular traditional. Wow. I know, and it's pink. Isn't it so perfect for Valentine's Day? If, if anyone's gonna introduce me to <laughs> strawberry marshmallows, I'm so glad it, can it be was me. gonna be you. So glad it can be me. And so along with our marshmallows, I just have some melted white chocolate. And okay. you could do regular milk chocolate if you wanted to. Um, and I have cut a straw in half. And I'm gonna use the straw kind of like the stick of like a cake pop, okay. like a cake pop that would be on. And the reason I'm choosing a straw is just simply because it adds color and there's yeah. so many cute ones now. Um, I found these um, just white ones with red hearts oh. that would be perfect for Valentine's Day, and they're just about everywhere. The yeah. paper straws are just really trendy right now. So I'm gonna dip this, and this is what I've learned along the way. I've kind of been practicing, and I finally have perfected my technique. Less is more when it comes to the white chocolate. Okay. So I'm gonna dip in, and I kind of spin the marshmallow as I'm coming out, and I'll actually even take some of the excess off so you don't have a ton of it on like the edge on of the marshmallow. There. Yes. Okay. And then you can choose any sprinkles that you want. And Valentine's Day, I just feel like the sprinkles are overload. So I have <laughs> hearts and sweet little rounded ones. And then I also picked up some coconut, which oh. I thought would be so cute with the pink. So let's do, um, I think the round ones are super cute. Oh my gosh, look but how adorable. Look, yeah, you want to shake a little bit, but look how sweet that is. And how easy that was. Simple, like your kiddos can help you yes, do this. Yes, yes. Not super messy. So your option is to pick up like an inexpensive tin bucket like this, and you can make a whole bouquet oh. of these. And it would be a really sweet gift for a teacher's lounge, an office Aww. party, something like that. And so what you could do is you could just put this right in here and do several marshmallows. Or I have found these little bags. Um, you want to wait until your marshmallow, your white chocolate is has hardened. Okay. And so just lay it to side. But I want to show you what I have found. This is actually a pretzel bag. A pretzel bag? A pretzel bag. So you know around Christmas time they dip those long pretzel rods. Oh yes, rods. yes, yes. Okay. And it's a little narrow. I have made it work for the sweet gifts that I have here. It was a little bit of a struggle, but I got it in there. <laughs> but someone told me on my Facebook page yes. that they have cake pop bags. Where have those been my whole life? I oh my no gosh. Idea. So if you could find the specific bags, and I'm sure you could at a craft store where they have the baking right. section, you could find bags. But the pretzel bags worked pretty well. And so once I have stuffed the, the um, marshmallow inside, I cut the edge off. And then I secured it with a cute ribbon, um, of, of course pink or Valentine's Day theme so that it's airtight and you can transport them so you could give them individually as Valentine's Day gifts too. So like your your kid could go to school and maybe yes. lay one on each desk. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Isn't would be that a hit. Sweet? Or if you just want to like bless your um, mail lady or somebody yeah. at the post office, just something that you can whip up really quickly and just show other people love during the holiday season. This is really kind of you in a nutshell. This is what I'm going to yes. tell everybody because you love taking things that are very simple, yes. uh, but they come out super cute. You have great ideas. Yes and you walk us through the whole thing. That's right, that's my passion, is to teach women how to create a holiday in a home yeah. that they love to celebrate. And so all the way from sweet treats, to decorating, to crafting tutorials, things that don't cost a fortune. And I always say on our Facebook page and our blog, I'm, the, I'm one to admit, I have Pinterest fails all the time. Like that just happens, right? But we don't beat ourselves up as moms and as yeah. women. We just shove it under the rug. Yesterday I had a Pinterest fail trying to get my marshmallow into the bag. Yeah. And I was like, how am I gonna do this? And you know what, that's what life is all about. But continuing to still celebrate and create those memories that your kids and your family and the people around you will remember forever. Well. I watched you on Facebook Live last <laughs> yes, night. I yes. watched you as you were making this yesterday. Yes. I watched and I love how you interact with people. And like Thank you said, you. you're even sharing ideas with people that are watching. Like you said, someone said, you know, they make cake pop bags. Yes. Uh, so it's uh, again, kind of going with that. Let's share ideas. Let's right. be a community of people helping, uh, yes. you know, women helping women kind of a thing. And you do this for 
every holiday. We do. Holidays are my specialty. Yeah. I mean, I just love to transition. If you go back to our Instagram account, I see like all the pink right now, and then it's quickly it was Christmas. And so we just keep up with all of the holidays. Yeah. And I just am a holiday enthusiast. I love to celebrate. And I love, we've all, you know, our business kind of started on accident. Our Facebook yeah. page was first. And so we just always wanted to create community on there. And so people are all over and they comment on each other's posts and they um, keep up with each other. And it's fun to see them interacting and see that we kind of created that positive, happy place in oh, the yeah. social media world. And I know we were just looking at the front of your website page yes. and I watched you all the way through as you made the, um, is it strawberry milk yes. with uh, a rim? And that was yes. another one of those things you were struggling with, how yes. to get the rim to stay. Yes. And you got some help. Yes. And then you did the little powder donut over yes. the, I see, and I watched. That was, I'm so glad you do. I think I did that on Instagram story and then we turned yep. it into a blog post. So we kind of keep, we let everybody see the whole ride of the yep. journey. Like we're not perfect. And there's so many really beautiful bloggers. Everything's perfect, but we want show like life is real and yes. sometimes we have those fails and we just keep we figure it out together and it's really fun to have a community of women who oh, yeah. also are super into that you well, know super into celebrating I want to be completely completely transparent with everybody I've known Brittany for years yes. I know her on a personal level and she is amazing Thank like I said I watch I watch all of your Instagram stories Thank I watch you. you on live I and I love that you're so real you're a mom you have great yes. ideas and you love to help other women so Thank, Thank you, you for so coming. much. I mean, I have the best. I mean, I get to come and do television and make marshmallows with you. It's the best job in the world. So <laughs> I'm so thankful you let me come on today while I'm in town. No, I'm so I love this so much, Brittany. I'm going to remind everyone how they can become like me and follow you yes, also all the do. time to get even more DIY ideas and tutorials. Make sure to visit Brittany Young's website, which is certifiedcelebrator.com.